Another example then for a uh, geometric electronics company, small components to using computers, claims the percentage of defective components coming off the production line is equal to 0.05%. So a p-value of 0.0005. Um, sales of components to the retailer. Retailer suspects that the percentage of defective stated by the electronics company should be higher. So Alternative hypotheses, a counter argument to the null needs to be greater than. Um, our evidence, he finds his effective point on the 90th component that he tests, and we are working with a 5% significance level. So that's a greater than. So in this case, for the geometric, we work out a probability that x is less than or equal to 90. From your calculator, Compare your probability with your significance level, and then again we can reject the null hypotheses on this occasion and conclude in the context of the question. Sample three, this time we're looking at the critical region. So what we've got numbered one to five, so we've got a p-value of one fifth. One tail test of the hypothesis that the probability on a single spin is less than a fifth, so our alternative is less than. So geometric p value of one fifth, alternative, null and alternative setup. Um, this time we want the critical region. So again, observe if it's a less than test, then we want the um, probability that x to be greater than or equal to some value c has to be less than 0 0.05. The solutions show uh, the long way of working it out using the formula. You can just get that from your calculator, okay, either using inverse geo or uh, just a bit of trial and error um, with your, um, your values to get the first one that goes below 0 0.05, okay? Uh, and so you should find that um, 15 is the first value of C that goes below 0 0.05 for the first time. I would show the other value as well, so I'd show greater than or equal to 14 um, to be just a bit bigger than that, and greater than or equal to 15 to be a bit smaller than that. Okay, so um, our critical region is greater than 15. When we want the actual significance level of the test, it is always just the probability it's in our critical region. So rather than it being equal to 5%, um, it's slightly less than that at 4.4%. Uh, okay, so actual significance level is always just the probability it's in your critical region. It's kind of like the nearest probability we could get to the significance level um, working with discrete data.